Hello everyone and welcome to this Playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be learning about the Playwright architecture. So let's begin. The first thing we need to understand is that we have a client side. So by client side, we means that we have a different programming languages through which we will be writing our test scripts. So in client side, we have different languages such as we have JavaScript or the TypeScript. We have Python. We have Java. We have C sharp. So using these languages, you will be writing your test script. So once you write your test script, what happens is that you will be connected to Playwright server using a web socket. And then Playwright server will execute your test on the different browsers. So this is a very simple architecture, but the main thing, the important thing here to understand is about the web socket, how web socket works and and this WebSocket actually makes it different from the rest of the tools such as Selenium and Cypress. So let's understand how this WebSocket works here in between. So simply uh, you have your clients like JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Java, C Sharp, and you will be sending a request. So in whatever language you write your test script, it will send a request to your playwright server. So it will send a request to the playwright server. What happens now is that now playwright will do a handshake and establish a connection between the programming language or client. Okay. So it will generate or create a handshake between the client and then it will become a by language traffic and here is the WebSocket comes in. So basically what happens is that you will be sending a request using your programming language, whatever you're using, it will send a request to the Playwright. Playwright will do a handshake here. And after doing a handshake here, it will create a permanent connection and it will be a two way connection. So after this, you don't need to develop another connection you would be just sending your commands. You would be sending your, uh, you know, test skip request and playwright will be doing whatever the request you are sending and executing those according to your browser. But in other protocols, just like HTTP protocol, what happens is that you will be sending a request and every time you will be getting a response and after getting the response your connection or the protocol disconnected from here but in websocket it is different because it will develop a connection once here and you will be getting a continuous traffic and you know and just because of this the playwright works very efficiently and it's very fast because it makes connection only once as compared to the HTTP protocol. So let me summarize the architecture. So simply what happens is that we have our clients, right? We have our client here and in client, we have different languages, JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Java, C sharp. Using these languages, we will be writing our test scripts. Then these test scripts will send a request to the Playwright server. And this all communication is done using the WebSocket server. It will send a request. It will do a handshake and make a connection once. And so that there will be no uh, multiple connections and there's no discontinued connections between the client and the server. And then Playwright will execute your test script on the respective browsers like Chrome, Firefox and Edge. So this is a very simple architecture. The only key here is to understand how WebSocket works here. And this WebSocket makes it different from the rest of the automation tools like Selenium and Cypress. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.